Beginners Adobe Photoshop help for creating layers. Right, now you own Photoshop, you just don't you just need to work out how to use the damn thing. So why don't we get started with this Photoshop help for layers? There is such an extensive area to handle and there's just so much power and flexibility that layers can offer. So understanding Photoshop doesn't simply happen overnight. The more time and effort you spend discovering layers all around uh, capabilities, the more you will eventually achieve. Layers were first introduced into Adobe Photoshop 3.0 version and this single accessory completely changed Photoshop. For the first time you could do difficult edits so easily that even a professional will be proud of. A layer in Photoshop is quite simply a single graphic put on top of another. Picture I have a piece of paper that's violet, then get a piece of transparent plastic and paint a ship onto it and set it on the paper. At this point take one more layer of clear plastic and paint some text on it and at this point place it over the ship. You end up with a purple background with two layers, ship and text. Photoshop makes use of the layers palette to help you to make this happen with your digital images. When there are several graphics it is often turned as a composition. The Photoshop palette is an exceptionally powerful software tool which allows you to do numerous special e edits. So Adobe Photoshop help for layers. Layer effects styles. Effects include with your picture layer located through the small f each uh, effect added shall be listed and multiple effects can be used simultaneously. Type layer, the same as a graphic layer except this one has type that might be edited. It is possible to change font, size, persona, etc. History, this is always locked and can't be moved or even have results added. The symbol of the padlock on the right means it's locked. The most frequently used layers features. Blending together mode changes the way the layers work with one another. Play with the different modes to give you some ideas in regards to what you're able to achieve first. Layer opacity. The spe this specific um, <coughs> excuse me, adjusts how transparent each uh, level actually is. Zero is very transparent, 100%, 100 is completely opaque. Uh, lock all. If the box is checked, the image will be protected throughout any image modifying. Lock position. You can make all adjustments except for moving the image. Lock image pixels. You cannot work on this picture if checked. Uh, lock translucent. You're able to paint around this part, but not where it's really transparent. Remove. May delete complete layers. New coating. Simply click to add a new blank web page. Or you may drag an existing thumbnail to produce a copy. New adjustment. Allows for non-destructive adjustment of colors. Create a fresh set allows you to arrange your layers into folders. Cover up lets you scrub away parts of your layer with no damage to your primary graphic. Styles. Effects for your layers. Let's you do some fairly cool enhancing, so give it a, give it a go. Uh, and if you'd like to grab your free 179 page report on how to get started with Photoshop, make sure you click on the link below the arrow. Or visit www.learnphotoshopnow.com forward slash blog forward slash free dash book. Thank you.